A quick one today, just before I leave for France and conversely England. RCP 2.6, just how much energy is that, I was wondering. The Earth's surface, atmosphere and oceans store and release warmth. Much of this energy comes from the Sun. If the balance between warmth gained and warmth release is positive, the Earth warms. If it is negative, it cools. All of this happens very gradually because the atmosphere and the oceans have a huge volume and this causes the Earth's hydrological system to respond very slowly. This is called inertia. In preparing for this video, I made a couple of mistakes and I emailed with both James Hansen and Ken Caldera to confirm whether my initial calculations were correct. They weren't. The first mistake I made was to assume that the radiative forcing would only be there during the day. This is of course nonsense because CO2 captures infrared energy. And this infrared radiation is also irradiated back towards space during the night. Thanks to greenhouse gases, this energy remains in the atmosphere. CO2 is one of these gases, and due to an increase of CO2, more energy that would otherwise be radiated into space remains in the atmosphere and the oceans. Hansen told me that the current radiative forcing is about 0.75 watts per square meter, or the equivalent of energy of 500 thousand Hiroshima bombs exploding each day. So this is what the math looks like. The Earth's surface is 510 million square kilometers or 510 trillion square meters. We multiply this figure by 0.75 watts per square meter. Then we multiply this figure by 24 hours and end up with 9,000 terawatt hours of extra energy a day, which is indeed equivalent to 500,000 nuclear bombs, as James said. Do note that 9,000 terawatt hours is about one third of all the electricity mankind produces in a year, but then added to the atmosphere each day. Think about that. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.